really great atmosphere, and uh, I thought terrific performance by our guys. Um, really proud of them. Really proud of them how, you know, they stayed tough through the entire game against a very, very good team, a team that um, you knew was going to make a run back at you. And, um, you know, we kept making plays, kept making free throws, and um, we did some really, really good things. I, I thought we shot the ball very well. I thought we were kind of due for that. We are a good shooting team and had not shot it as well as, as we should be. Uh, but we had to continue to work on it. And uh, I thought we got some payback from that today in the game. James, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Because something was going right for you today. Uh, honestly, I didn't eat breakfast like most of the day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I just came out confident. I come out confident every game, and I just try my best. James, was there, was there a point then that you felt that you were that you were maybe feeling it, or that the, the team kind of felt that those those shots were falling? Was there a point that that came for you? Uh, I was just feeding off my teammates. Like we got like good like Matt and Vita got us going first. And just kept them like pinching my little my little points here and there. More than a few more points. <laughs> could, could you guys talk about you know his his his, his play and, and what he was able to, to spark up for you guys today too? He's big time, you know. He was able to beat him off the dribble, find guys when they was open, and, and he was hitting shots, big shots, and, and key moments when they were going on runs. We weren't getting stops, but they weren't getting stops either because he was scoring every time. So he was he was definitely big time, and um, you know we're, we're all proud of him. Especially us too, we're proud of him because he worked hard in practice. So big time. So well, he shoot well everywhere, but you really seem to enjoy it here. You <laughs> look to the crowd a couple times. Do you do you really like shooting here? I just try to get my, my teammates going. I know um, when I'm playing like that, it brings a lot of energy to our group. So just try to get my teammates going, that's all. So, I mean, you guys were shooting phenomenally from, from three point range. It almost looked like it was a hula hoop you were shooting in. I mean, did, did the hoop look big to you, or, or what was going when you guys were shooting from long range? We work hard. We put a lot of work in. We work on shooting every day. So, Case, Coach Case always tells us come in here and be confident every game. And I think our confidence really showed today and how hard we work in gym shows today. Reggie talked the other day and he seemed concerned about your pace, especially after last year, that he wanted to slow you down, but it seems like that's hard to do. Do you really do you feel like it's hard for teams to do that against you? Um, you know what I, I truly think? I think we can play different ways. I mean, I think if we have to slow down, we can slow down. And I think if we have to speed up, we can speed up. Um, but we like to speed up and we like to go, you know, and I think it's always good for us when we can get in a game like that. And, uh, you know, the, the game in the second half had to be like that because of the lead that we had. If it was a slower pace game, it would have been more difficult to catch us. So um, I thought that would have helped us in the second half. Coach, I mean, is this, I know the Tanisha's game is always a big game, but where they are in the standings, is this a signature win for you right now? I don't do signature wins, and I'm not just giving you coach speak. I mean, I'll get up tomorrow and I'll start watching film on St. Peter's, you know, um, and our guys will do the same. I, I appreciate what you're saying, but you know, I, I don't, I don't look at any game different than any other game. You know, we, we prepare the same, we try to get our guys ready the same. Our guys do a good job of of, uh, of uh, paying attention to the things that are important, and then they go play and play well, and that's really all we pay attention to. Matt, that's three straight for you guys against this team, and, and you put up at least 90 in all three. Um, I mean, we talk about it in the media all the time, like, you know, it's a rivalry game. Do you guys get up extra for it, or is it just a matchup that you guys like? Yeah, I think it's honestly just another game. Uh, we come here with the same mindset that we play everybody with, and it just happens that we play well against them. What about that being your first play? Is that anything you thought about coming into the game? Um, we knew that regardless of any team we play, it's going to be a tough game because the league is so close. So we just came ahead with the mindset to just handle business, and that's what we did today. I bet you guys out rebounded them by 18. I asked you because you were the leading rebounder. Just what was the focus there on the glass? Um, we try to do that every game. Um, we got a lot of guys, me, Kevin, Chris, and the, and the big guys. We all try to pinch in and kill guys on the glass because that's really a way that you can take a team's heart. Chris, that run in the first half, I mean, you did a lot of that with Matt out, with, with Marvin out. I mean, we've talked the last few games about the rest of your guys stepping up, but this is another example of that, right? Well, I thought our bench was really good, and, and James was obviously outstanding, but we got really good minutes from Kyrell. We got good minutes from Greg. Kevin gave us good minutes. You know, Dom had a couple tough, tough calls and, you know, was kind of in and out with some foul trouble, but he gave us good minutes. And, you know, 
in our practices, if you watch our practices, they're competitive and you know, it's it's not the first team always beating the second team. It's it's 50-50, you know, and uh, so I have a lot of confidence in guys coming off the bench. I feel like, you know, they can come in and play well and when they play well, that helps these two guys, you know, so, um, you know, just really, we always talk about when you push your button, you got to be ready. And uh, I think to this point in the season, our guys have done that. He obviously has a big night. I think he's averaged about, James averaged about 15 or 16 in the last few games. Has he done anything differently or better to find that rhythm of late? Uh, I, I've said this before, it's a little redundant, but I have absolute confidence in James because he's fearless, you know? And, um, you know, uh, he's, he can score different ways. Uh, he's competitive. He works hard in practice. Uh, so I don't think there's anything different, you know, he's just, he's emerging, you know, he's playing well. And, you know, I think in a true team, you'll have different guys that will emerge at different times. And again, when guys can do that, it makes it better for these two guys, you know, uh, because we become an overall threat. Khalil, we're so close to the month of February and going down the stretch. What can this do for this team's confidence, this win to, to draw on this and know you can knock off the number one team in the conference? Um, I think we just take every game one at a time, try to keep the same mindset and go into each game, like Matt said, trying to control the boards. Like Coach Casey said, being fearless, being confident, and we just take every game one at a time and try to bring the same energy every game. Um, we don't really look at um, any other team as better than us. You know, we try to go in there and we feel like we can beat every team. And um, I think it showed tonight and hopefully we continue to show that. You think you're gonna get some people to send? I mean, people in the league are gonna look this score on the wall. I mean, if they didn't believe it already, they know your team is in Albany is to be reckoned with, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, that's that's the confidence that we have as a group. So if we could send that message, then that's the message we, we're trying to send. And we have to back it up each game. Chris, you talked about playing different styles, but when they play that way, they're fun to watch. If you let them go, uh, you know, more than some coaches, is that part of the personality that, that you like here? That, that, that they play better when they're when they're doing that, you know? When yeah, well, we do, a, we do a lot of things in practice where we just, I call it, just play basketball, you know? And um, I want them to know that I trust their decisions, you know? Um, you know, one of the things I, I'm, I'm not happy with tonight is we turned the ball over 18 times. You know, that's not good. And that was a battle we said we had to win, uh, turn them over more than they turned us over. But, you know, for the most part, I, I have complete confidence in, in the decisions that we're going to make with the basketball. Um, and I trust what we're going to do with the basketball because we practice that way, you know. Um, so, you know, I, I, in terms of letting them go, I don't know if it's let them go. I think it's more we practice that way and we practice well that way. So I feel like we can play that way. Yeah, all right. Thanks.